down studio in a workshop. I wonder what he's working on today. Okay. I was convinced to change the uh, bottom heads. Understandable. I mean, I bought the, the, I think they're original, so probably from 2006. Yeah, it's a while. Well, I only probably used the drums probably a matter of altogether three years. But I did jam every night there for on the weekends for a little while with those. I'd bring them out. I didn't bring them out too often, but I don't know. We'll see. This is still the, the old head, and I'm just trying to get her down as much as I can. 12 inch. Wish I had a pitch. I don't think so. Yeah. Don't have anything. But that's uh, lower than I had it before. vibration but I think she's just yeah just needs something on the bottom I did have some middle where those are No gel packs. No gel packs. I mean, I got some tape. We can try some, uh, some of that. And also, I don't know. Would one of these work? Oh, I guess I need scissors. Tools are put away. Okay. These are just little stoppers. They were little foam pads for the bottom of of uh, furniture in that. No, didn't do a thing. Okay. How about one of those? <laughs> Just blew it right off the <laughs> easy <laughs> a little tighter. No, it does work, but we're blowing it right off. Okay, now let's see if we can loosen her a bit more. I don't think I needed them. I didn't need I didn't need new heads in the bottom. So <laughs> That works. So if you're a drummer, you got a whole load of these little babies and you must have some tape kicking around. Okay, well that's a little wiggle there. That's, right. that's pretty good. So before we put the new heads on, let's try that. I'm always leery. Well, you know, I know these are the bottom ones are like 2006, but they are Evans. So, so we'll keep them on there for now, and we'll, we'll play with the 14 floor and the 16, and then uh, get in there and start playing.
Well, let's try the 14, I guess, four. But, something I learned on the internet too, and a little bit of a ring, motha balls, cotton balls, little cotton balls, not moth balls. They say I like throw some in there and it's supposed to stop it from the, from the ringy ding ding. Well, I don't know. Oh, I found it. I found the drill I, or a little piece I magnified and the moon gels. <laughs> that were right in my face when I was going through that. So. Smells wonderful. <laughs> One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Let's try six. Let's try six. need no bottom heads <laughs> okay that's uh, simply amazing to put it back right where I had it sitting in the drum set I took a marker and I marked the uh, the uh, the legs so it goes right like that wow okay I love these drums. I guess, um, I guess you don't need bottom heads if you know, uh, just tweak a little or give me a call. Like and subscribe. You can do it. I know you can. Dan Studio in the Workshop. I'm not all here, but I'm here all the time. Yes, I is. Here we are, the 16. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Put five or six in the last one. Oh, yeah. Something about a beautiful drum. Well done. Two, three, four, five. Oops. Six. Alrighty. I'm not even using the jet. drums now <laughs> a whole lot more well I, I picked that up from somebody on the internet uh, with the mo with not the moss balls <laughs> with the cotton balls and holy cow yeah that is um, that works it's nice still like in the studio you're gonna use compression and uh, reverb and all kinds of stuff and that's what you want to hear right there. That is absolutely beautiful. It is a beautiful drum to start with. Epex, they're Canadian made. That is, um, uh, uh, 
yeah my favorite drum so far that I've uh, purchased and uh, actually played so there we go what, what can you say the next video I guess it will be playing the damn things have to figure out something else to play here we go I'm not all here but I'm here all the time yes I is